the 30 yacht six and the 338 Lapua Magnum. Two rounds that don't compare, but we're gonna talk about the differences right now. Hello friends and lovers, this is Dave Prillo and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Chris, I think you summed it up in a stinger. The 30 out 6 and the 338 Lapua Magnum really don't compare at all. So why are we comparing them? Well, you know, I think there's a lot of hype around the 338 Lapua Magnum. And, you know, hunters and shooters are always looking for something new. And obviously the 338 got a lot of fame with, uh, you know, American sniper Chris Kyle. He used it to get himself on the list there, if I'm not mistaken, for the longest sniper shots. I believe he's on number 10. Uh, and there's a lot of hype around it, and you can get it uh, here in the United States as a civilian if you want to shoot it. But whether it really applies to hunting or not is somewhat up for debate, so I think it's something that we can talk about today. Yeah, the 338, I know it consistently ranks up there among long-distance shooting records. Of course, all the top spots are held by 50 BMG, Yep. but I think if you took 50 BMG out of the equation, 338 Lapua would be the... Uh, longest confirmed sniper kill. You're absolutely right, but the 338 was actually developed as a bridge cartridge between the 300 Win Mag and the 50. And the 338 was what came out of that uh, that call from the military and it's a, it's a potent round, can punch through body armor at a thousand yards and has a ridiculously flat trajectory. Now I know the 300 Win Mag isn't exactly a hothouse flower itself. I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure if you try to break into the White House, you can count on getting one or two of them through your center of mass. Definitely. So is the 338 Lapua like really that necessary when the Secret Service has deemed the 300 Win Mag suitable for uh, protecting the most important building in the country? Well, I mean, I think it definitely has a role in military applications and long-range shooting. I would say your 300 Win Mag. It can shoot past a thousand yards, but I mean that's getting close to it. Your 338 uh, with a trained marksman, uh, easily 1,500 yards uh, with that sucker. So I mean it can reach out and touch somebody to say the least. Uh, for the Secret Service, I don't think that they're going to be taking sniper shots to protect the president at 1,500 yards. So perhaps they deemed it a little bit too much. Uh, for that job or of course in urban applications as a civilian I mean it's really questionable whether you need it now I want to caveat that just because yeah. Yeah, we say you not necessarily need it doesn't mean if you want it you shouldn't be able to get it is it something you must absolutely have in your collection and if you don't have it you should feel insignificant no it's not it's something that if you have the finances to shoot it and you like that type of uh, you know, rifle that high power rifle Man, you go out there and get yourself some 338. But for most people, the 30 out 6, which I've got right here, is going to be the better option for them. Yeah, worked well enough in multiple world wars. Yeah. Yeah, no, the 30 out 6 has a lauded history uh, here in the United States. Of course, it was our main battle cartridge. As I said in my article, which of course we'll link down in the description, the 30 out 6, once it got its uh, DD 214 from the military, went out to retire in the woods, and it has done a great job out there so far. Ironically enough, I think 30-06 snipers are a problem for our guys to contend with abroad. Absolutely. The amount of 30-06 that is on the market is ridiculous. It's just astounding. And that is one of the huge benefits of the 30-06 compared to the 338 is the price point. Uh, I mean, gosh, 338 is ridiculously expensive. Yeah, yeah, I think it's about 8 bucks a pop for a premium round, you were telling me? It is really expensive, but it is a honking round. That's the thing. The case capacity on this 338 is literally double that of the 30 out 6 I think you touched on an important difference between these two rounds, the effective ranges aside. Mm -hmm. The 30 out 6 was conceived and designed as uh, what we could call a running gun cartridge. The 338 seems to be in the exclusive domain of bench rest shooters, so... It definitely was made as a sniper round, uh, you know, for long range shooting, where you can get in your position, get your ranges down. You've got time to work the wind and do all the calculations and make those longer range shots. But, uh, you know, for a 30 out 6, you can do that. But yeah, the 30 out 6 was made as a battle cartridge. It was made to be run out of the M1 Garand in the 1903 Springfield. And it did an absolutely fantastic job at that, as well as being a long range cartridge. 
is the 338 lap you uh, overkill over like the ranges that your average weekend warrior hunter is going to try to cover when he's deer hunting? To be honest with you, I'm going to have to go ahead and say yes. Uh, now, I've heard people like, oh, well, I need to have that 338 to make those thousand yard shots on sheep in the mountains or, or something like that. And mm-hmm. I, I just want to ask can you practice that type of shooting? The amount of training and time and ammunition it takes to be able to learn how to shoot that far is substantial. 30 out 6, I mean, you can hop on the 100 yard range and be zeroed in with this with you know, pretty quick and, you know, ranging out to like two, 300 yards for most deer hunting applications is going to be more than enough. And the 30 out six will do it for you. For the average civilian, $8, even $5 a pop is not something that you want to shake a stick at. And, you know, a buck a round for this, a lot easier to stomach. If you want to shoot off like 50 rounds in a you know, a range session, that's not too bad. It's only 50 bucks, but for 338, you're looking at something about 200 bucks for a range session. Well, let's talk about why the 338 dominates the 30 on six a long distance so much. I know you're talking about a lot more bullet moving a lot faster. I touched on that earlier was the case capacity between these two cartridges is ridiculously, not even close to put it lightly. Let me pull up the data here. I've got it. Yeah, the case capacity on the 338 is listed at 114 grains of powder versus 68 for the 30 out six Springfield. So you're packing a lot more powder in there and the bullets that these things fire are just massive on these 338 Lapua Magnums. They are big. They've got an amazing ballistic coefficient, very aerodynamic. The trajectory would make any long distance shooter shed tears of, of joy, for lack of a better term. A 30 out 6 can get you out to 1,000 yards with the right load uh, and with some training, but uh, you're looking at probably about 400 inches of bullet drop at 1,000 yards for a 30 out 6 compared to about 290 for the, thir- uh, the 338. Lapua. So uh, that's a little over nine feet difference uh, at a thousand yards. That's quite a bit flatter. That's enormous. And wind drift is going to have a greater impact on the 30 odd six bullet past uh, X hundred number of yards, too. Definitely. Uh, you know, your 338 Lapua Magnum is going to have a higher ballistic coefficient because it's shooting those heavier bullets. Uh, we're looking at a pretty sizable difference, actually, typically. Uh, usually your 338's running on average around a 0.62 ballistic coefficient versus 0.43 for the 30 odd six. Now, don't think that that means the 30 out 6 is bad. Uh, a 0.43 ballistic coefficient is fantastic, to say the least. Yeah, but, uh, that the, is impressive still. The 338 is yeah, just that much better. I think the, the one thing that will surprise people the most is the amount of recoil the 338 Lapua Magnum has. It is shoulder bruising, to say the least, looking at about 40 foot-pounds of free recoil energy versus about 25 for the 30 out 6. Crackers, And for reference, uh, more than 15 foot-pounds of free recoil energy is typically considered where it gets uncomfortable for repeated fire. Yeah. So you're talking 40 foot-pounds? 40 foot-pounds for the 338 Lapua. Yeah, you're not doing fast follow-up shots with that. You mentioned hitting those mountain goats. Is that really the only practical application for a 338 here in America? Or... uh... It sounds like too much to even keep on you in case a grizzly bear gets curious about you. Yeah, I think there are better options for a grizzly bear. On a 12-gauge shotgun seems like a pretty good uh, choice, in my opinion, for a grizzly if that were to roll up on you. Uh, even a 4570 uh, is going to be a lot lighter and easier to handle than a 338 Lapua Magnum because hauling around that 10-plus pound rifle is going to wear on you, especially in the woods. I think really where the 338 shines is on the the thousand plus yard shooting line uh, for shooting competitors and things like that who really need that long range trajectory. They need that that flight plan that uh, you know that reach that the 338 gives them. I think for them it makes a lot of sense. And you know these shooters who are shooting F class and you know above know what they're doing. We'll just put it that way. They've had the training. They can shoot that far and they can really milk that cartridge for everything that it's worth. Whereas shooters like myself, and you know, I hate to put Dave in this category, but uh, probably don't have the wherewithal to really get everything we can out of a 338. Dave, what are your final thoughts here on these two rounds? I mean, I'm right there with you. Uh, I'm never, I'm never going to spend enough time at the range or enough money on ammo to become even remotely competent with a 338. 40 foot pounds of recoil energy is bananas, and yeah. uh, I am, I am a, 
a, a small, weak, girlish man. So I don't, <laughs> I don't look forward to getting hammered by that kind of kick. Uh, whereas the 30 out six, just knowing this is the same cartridge that my grandfather used during his only trip out of country, yep. that's that's really all I need. Having that connection to history. It's something that is just truly American. I mean, this, this cartridge is, it's America's cartridge, right? We made this thing. And there's something special about it, knowing you've got a two-time World War champ, uh, you know, on your rifle. Uh, there's something special about that. And it, the 338 Lapua Magnum, a fantastic cartridge. It is a long-range powerhouse, to say the least. And if you have the training and the money and the wherewithal to be able to do with it what that cartridge can do, it will well outstrip the 30 out 6 in terms of performance. But most shooters, like myself and Dave, aren't going to have that training or that uh, ability to shoot that long distance. But if you do, then the 338 Lapua is a great upgrade over even the three the 300 Win Mag or the 30 out 6 in that in this case, and uh, will definitely help you get those shooting titles that you're looking for. But uh, if you need either of these rounds or any rounds, make sure you click on that link down in the description. Get your free $20 off coupon here at ammo.com because we're going to make sure we take care of all of your ammunition needs, and we'll see you out on the range.